this video we're going to take a look at a very simple lightweight wood burning stove the paleo stove welcome back to survival on purpose my name is Brian thanks for joining me so this video we're going to take a look at a new stove on the market a new wood burning stove it's the uh, paleo stove very lightweight three-piece design stainless steel and designed to be a sort of a rocket type stove to create an updraft we're going to take a look and see how well this thing works you may have seen this by the way on both living survival recently and feral woodcraft both those are great channels i encourage you to check them out if you haven't um, being over at Living Survival does a great job. He's just got a very concise, clear way of explaining things and showing uh, products in, in just great detail to help you make a, an informed decision. And Joe over at Feral Woodcraft, not only does product reviews, but he does a lot of skill stuff. His woodcraft and, and bushcraft skills are excellent. And he's just a super nice guy. So I encourage you to go over and take a look at both those channels. And I'll put a link to those channels below so you can go check them out if you haven't already. There'll be links to the Paleo Stove below too also so by the way thanks to the folks at paleo stove for sending me this so i can show it to you this thing goes for around the 50 dollars range on amazon so let's get over to the stump top stop rambling and get to doing some of that stove stuff okay so it comes in this nice cloth bag here um doesn't have the weight written on it i wrote that but basically that just keeps your other stuff from getting dirty because once you use this thing it's going to be black obviously with soot so but again 8.6 ounces Pretty lightweight pretty good size set that out of the way very simple to put together it's just a three-piece stove you see two of the pieces are exactly the same they have slots on one side and ears on the other and then the third piece has slots on both sides so all you're gonna do is you put the ears on a slot it ain't rocket science so to speak and I don't think it really doesn't matter which ears you put on which slot you just want to get it together and I always make this look harder than it is and it's hard to do everything on video when you're trying to keep it in the frame but there we go okay so you can see that it's got the air holes on the bottom to, to let the updraft and, and then I like the fact this has got a feeder hole here so you don't have to feed stuff in from the top so what I've got here is you can see it's a whole bunch of sticks and I've got some fat wood this is my old fat wood that's been laying out forever and so what I'm gonna do is just set this out of the way for a second. I'm going to carve just a little bit of fat wood off here. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I love me some fat wood. So, and then I'm going to uh, straighten some off because I like to start my fires with a ferro rod. Just to, you know, we'll go ahead and get ready to start this with a ferro rod. I'm just going to break up some of these little sticks here. And get a little bundle of sticks here. And last but not least, get our cup out because we're going to try to boil some water and see how long it takes to boil some water. Let's see how quick the, fat, the fat wood will take. Pretty quick. If I can keep from knocking it around. <laughs> I love me some fat wood. So we'll put the stove over it now. Let it sit down and we'll start feeding some wood in it. And the initial wood, I honestly I'm just gonna drop it in the top. As I'm sure you know, the principle principle behind a rocket stove is the updraft creates heat which which actually causes the wood to burn more efficiently and effectively because of the uh, kind of the the, the air intake that's being pulled in through the bottom so the heat rises is pulling fresh air in from the bottom and just creates a good combustion chamber inside now you can see it's starting to do the updraft thing my wife says that I, she's going to tell me I smell like smoke I know but I think it smells good I think what we can do now is just go ahead and fill up the water And I do not have a lid for this. Well, actually, I do have a lid, but we're gonna we're gonna leave it off now. And uh, go with somewhere in the neighborhood of I don't know, 16 ounces, two cups of water. And you can see just a regular cups fits up there pretty well. So 
Now we just need to put some more wood in there. Look. There we go. I'll put a little bit, a few bigger ones in there. Let it kind of get mass some, get some mass going. I'll right, put a few more on the top here. So just, I have, I have done screwed up, but it is not unsalvageable. I'll put, I'll pack it down again. Fill it up with some small, small pieces. And then we'll blow her in back into fire, so it's not a big deal. See, I like the fact that you got a big hole here, so if you do screw up, you can you can blow it back into flame without having to stick your head on top of it. All right, let's get her back going. Again. Also, I didn't put the stove back far enough on the edge of the stump to allow me to really rest the wood in there like I would like to, but we're going to just we're going to make it work. You know, ever since I was a kid in Boy Scouts, I have heard that smoke follows beauty. So, all I know is I must be a pretty man. You know what? I guess eventually even an old stubborn mule will, will get up and move out of the smoke, right? <laughs> it just takes some of us a little longer than others. Okay, we're close to boiling. I got bubbles on the bottom, but uh, I'm really having to feed this thing a lot. Okay, finally, we're boiling. All right, well that was a boil test of the uh, paleo stove. And first of all, I wanna show you that it looked like it was warping a little bit, but actually it's, it's just fine. I mean, that's just it's thin stainless steel, so it's gonna do that a little bit. The, uh, you know, I think there's trade-offs in everything. Obviously it took a little longer than I, I would've liked for it to boil, but the trade-off of that is, this thing only weighs 8.6 ounces and it's very thin, less than a nickel, very minimalist design. And you don't have to carry any fuel Pretty much, in my experience, wood stoves always take longer to um, actually, you know, in, at the end of the process to get your, your water boiled or your food cooked or whatever than maybe a gas stove. Because, I mean, a gas stove, you just turn it on and light it, it's good to go. Wood stove, you got to collect the wood, you got to get the fire going, you got to get the heat generated to keep, keep and to keep feeding it. So, it's, it's definitely, it's got trade-offs, but it's, um, if you're looking for a lightweight way to, uh, you know, cook your food, boil some water, without having to um, carry fuel in a stove and all that, then um, this could be a good option for you. You know, I'll put the time below. I don't know how long it took to boil the water because I fiddled around with it. The wood was wet, to be honest with you. It's been raining, it rained, I don't know, a lot yesterday, all day long yesterday. And even though it snapped, it probably still had a lot of moisture in it. And I'm sure that had something to do with it. I just couldn't, I had, you saw I had a little bit of issue keeping the fire going. And, you know, quite honestly, it's, you know, it's a triangle shape, so it it's doesn't have as big a burn chamber as, as maybe a square stove of the same dimensions we have. So it's not going to hold as much fire, and it's, it's not going to hold as much fuel, rather. And so you have to feed it a little more often. But, you know, it's just there's trade-offs in everything. Altogether, I think it's a great design. I like the fact that you can feed it from the bottom. I like the... Uh, the chimney effect that you, that you get your air coming in from the bottom. Once it got going really, really well, and I was able to keep get the fire going, it's, it it was pretty easy to uh, just keep putting wood in. And these slots even allow you a little extra to put it in from the top. So just know that it, this, you know any any stove like this, you got to feed it. And the smaller the stove, the, the more maintenance and more 
feeding your fire is going to take. But all in all, it, it got the job done and it's very lightweight. That is the uh, Paleo Stove from the folks at Paleo Stove. And so I'll put a link to this below. Uh, and um, as always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up, for sharing it with your friends, for watching those ads. And thank you so much for shopping on Amazon through the Survival on Purpose links. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. See you next time. Oh no, I lost a piece of fat wood. Man, that's horrible. Putting out a little smoke right now. I managed to set my stump right where the smoke is. So that's a great thing, isn't it? And now the smoke's coming this way. Is that not amazing? Ah, smoke in my eyes. I think it really does follow beauty.